Oh, look who it is. Look who it is. Hello, young man. Ooh. Hey guys, Steph, welcome back to my channel. Oh my God, I literally don't even want to show my hands right now. I've been trying out a new tan. <laughs> Not good. Um, I don't know which one it was. But yeah, not good. Anyway, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Switching things up a little bit today because the new office is underway. By the time you guys are watching this video, the new office will be happening. So hopefully soon, there will be a new filming setup, a new office. I'm so, so excited. And because of all that, I've had to, like I've, I've had to, it's been so hard. I've had to go and get some more bits for my office and new filming room. So I have a bit of a home haul for you all today. So I thought I would show you just on my bed with my cat. Oh, gorgeous. So today I have a whole load of homeware stuff to show you guys and let me know, by the way, what you think of this new camera. This is like my new vlogging camera. It's like, I had the G7X Mark I, this is the G7X Mark III and I had to do some like firmware updating, boring stuff like that, because the autofocus was a bit weird. It should be even better quality, I don't know, but I'm like, testing the autofocus right now. So let me know what you guys think. Do you think the quality's better? Let me know, because it's still in warranty at the moment. So if you want to send it back, I can. Um, but, see, oh my God, the autofocus is gone. Mmm, mmm. I wiggle around too much for this, don't I? Anyway, let's persevere and let's see what this looks like by the time I sit and edit this. Yeah, I have a lot to show you. So I think I'm just gonna get right into it. I feel like that was the most random intro I've done in a while. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to this channel because I really, really appreciate it. And also turn on notifications, leave a like, leave a comment, all that jazz. Now let's get into the home stuff. I'm gonna start off with this cushion. I got two of these. Uh, I literally got it the other day and Pepe loves it. It's already just like covered in I don't even really know what, just like fluff and stuff. Uh, but I got this cushion from Primark and another one because I just wanted something different for my sofa. We had like these like smaller brownie sort of cushions, not really into them. And these I liked. I also like them this, this way. That can't even speak, just like plain black. So you know, I can kind of switch it up. It's got, it's got kind of like a velvety side here, plain black on this side. And then if I get bored of it, I can just get some cushion covers. And these were, they were pretty cheap. They were 12 pounds and they're 58 centimeters by 58 centimeters. So pretty big. But yeah, I got two of those and I'm actually gonna put this here just to see if Pepe will sit on it. He might, He's can you see him touching it? I don't know if he can. Do you want to sit on it? I mean, you've already covered it in crap anyway. So why stop now? Like I haven't even taken the tags off yet. And he's already just like, made himself at home. So I got some other bits from Primark, but I literally have everything in a, just a huge pile next to me. So I'm just gonna pick and choose. The next thing I have to hand, I got a few of these. I just got these from Dunelm. They're just, uh, what are they called? Pampas grass and they're pretty nice. They were, they weren't very expensive at all. Three pounds, which I think is pretty good. And yeah, I've got a couple of those just to stick in a vase, you know, do what people do with pampas grass. So I'm gonna pop that there. You can see he's like fully eyeing up this cushion here. Like, do I go and sit on it? Do you want to sit on the cushion? Oh, 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 oh no, I ruined it. Okay, he's going to the other side of the bed. Okay, I'll make some space for you. Sorry, 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 sorry. I ruined the cat cameo. I'm sorry. Oh no, my pampas grass just fell off the bed. It smacked you in the face. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm ruining your little nap time, aren't I? I'm sorry. Next, I got a couple of bits. I need to like try and remember where I got everything from. I think I got this from Dunelm. This was four pounds and it's just, if you can maybe see it, it's just a face. Oh my God, look, does that work? Kind of, but yeah, it's just this little face candle. It's kind of like a, it smells of leather and cedar apparently. And yeah, it does smell really, really good. I also got this candle here from Sainsbury's, but it's part of Habitat. So I think you can get Habitat. I think you can get it in Argos, maybe home base. I, or like, I think it might be home base. I might be making that up though, but yeah, it's just a Habitat brand. And I really, really like this. This is one of the candles that I probably won't ever burn, but I really like it. And I, I think this cost me eight pounds. So not too bad actually. It's, I don't think it has a scent. But yeah, another kind of candle that I got. Uh, and now I don't know how I feel about this. I don't know, I got this from Dunelm and this, this is a little bit more expensive because as you can see, it's not actually a candle. It's like a battery powered candle, but I wanted this to put in my bathroom so that I don't always necessarily have to have like a candle burning. It's just for the aesthetic, you know, it's like one of those little bubble candles, but it's got like a wax, like it is wax, but then it's just got this little, thing on top and it looks kind of cute from afar, but up close, it does look very, very obviously fake. But like in the background, this could actually work in my new filming room. So I could just like have it in the back 
And for those of you that watch this video, you'll know it's a fake candle. For those of you that don't watch this video, people are gonna be like, how does that candle never burn? It's been going for ages, it's been going for weeks and it never burns. But um, yeah, I might do that because there's something about it that I do like, but also it does look kind of cheap when it's just like chilling on the side and it's not lit. So I might actually, yeah, I've decided now I'm gonna put that in my filming room. Okay, settled. What else? Okay, I then have this huge, huge box from a brand called Mauve Garçon. I featured this on my Instagram stories already, if you guys have seen, but I want to share it on this video as well because the stuff that they sent is so good. They reached out to me on my home account. If you guys don't know, I do have a home account. I'll link it down below. But yeah, they reached out to me and they were like, can we send you some pieces? And I was like, oh my God, <gasps> my first gifted like home stuff. And I am honestly, just like poking myself in the face there obsessed with that website. I have a basket full of stuff right now, but I'm not letting myself buy anything else just yet. I'm waiting until I've like finished my room. Um, but yeah, they have so many good things. I'm gonna show you what they sent me, honestly. When I opened this box, I was stoked. So there's kind of a theme, uh, an unprecedented theme. I didn't plan this at all, but they sent me one of these bubble candles, very, very similar to the other one, but this one is a lot nicer. This is a real one. Am I gonna burn this? not for a very long time at least, but it's like, I think it's called the latte candle or something. It doesn't have a label on it or anything, but so many things on the website. There's like, don't get me wrong, there's some things that are a little bit more pricey, but they're like nicely designed items where some of the things on there are a really good price actually. Like I was looking at the stuff thinking, you know, this is gonna be so expensive, but it really, really isn't. So yeah, they sent over this candle here. I'll show you a little bit more close up there. I don't think it has a scent, but it looks so nice. So next up, if you guys watch any of my vlogs, to be honest, you will know that I have a slight obsession with trays. I always kind of have done. It's like trays and little baskets. I I don't need any of them. Like I need like a basket to hold all of my trays or a basket to hold all of my little baskets, but I'm just obsessed with them. And they sent over this tray here. It's like a concrete effect, but I thought that was so nice. I can put just like, I could put my pens on the side, get them all nice and organized, like on my desk. I could put my candle on this. Stunning. So many uses for these trays. I could use it as like a little thing that I put my soap on. But yeah, they sent that over. And then they also sent, which, so satisfyingly it fits in this tray. They sent over this pot sort of thing. I mean, you can put pretty much anything in this, but they sent a note and they were like, we figured you could put your brushes in that, which great idea. It's like, you can see it's a concrete sort of effect. Again, let's see what this sort of focus on this camera's like. Is it crap? Is it crap? Can't get, like, can't tell yet. But yeah, it's like a concrete effect. And yeah, I think I'm just gonna pop some brushes in there and just have that on the side. Or again, like a pen holder. There's so many things I can use this for. I wonder if, oh my God, I could even make it look like that. Wait, that's kind of cool actually. I turned it into a pot. Who knows? So many options. I'm um, honestly, I get so excited about pots and trays. Next. Okay, this is covered in a little bit of dust from the candle, but it was packaged so, so nicely. We have another tray. <laughs> yeah, uh, and I think I'm gonna put this either in my lounge or in my kitchen. I like to switch it up a little bit sometimes. Right now I've got kind of like a white creamy beige theme, but I always like to switch these things up. And this is just a really nice tray. Again, like if I'm having people over, I could just put different bits on there, like sauces, everything like that. It's a nice little tray to use for that. Again, candles, whatever. So that's cute. Might even use that in my film room or office as well. And to go with my candles, they then sent over some boxes of matches and these matches are so like aesthetically pleasing. They're these like, I'll try and show you them without making them all fall on the floor. But they're these like extra long, extra large matches and they've got a little pink bit that you light but I thought these were really nice. I might actually get a little jar, another little tray jar pot thing and put them in there because I want them on show, but yeah, they're very cool. All right, so next, honestly, I don't even know how these guys got it so right. They didn't ask me like if I wanted to pick anything or anything like that. They were like, yeah, we'll send you a box of stuff. They got it so, so right. So this needs to be just put into shape a little bit, but they sent me a basket. <laughs> What did I just say? Love a basket, love this. Can put all my bits in my basket, can put my basket on my tray, just, <sighs> Very, very excited about this. I don't know what I'm gonna put in here. Maybe like I could put this in my little bathroom as like a little toilet roll holder. I don't know, I'll find something to put in it though. But yeah, love that. And then 
the best thing. I was so excited when I opened this up because I've been after one of these for so, so long. Okay, look at it. <laughs> look at it. Like this, is this how people feel when they hold their child for the first time? Is, is this how, I feel like this is the closest I'm ever gonna get to that feeling. It's like, I never know how to say it. Is it boucle? I feel like it must be boucle. You guys will know what I mean anyway. The, the material that everyone is like obsessing over at the moment. It's like a boucle ball. I nearly got that so close to my face then. I was like, I'm gonna get my face printed on that. But it's this ball cushion and it's massive. And I might just put it here. Like, look, I might, I think, oh God, where's it gone? Oh my God, wait, goodbye cushion. You can go, oh, I love it. And I don't know if they do smaller ones as well. I'm, I'm, I'm so pleased. This is like a weird family photo right now. Oh, we're so happy together. I don't know if they do smaller ones, but if they do, I'm gonna pick up a couple of the smaller ones or maybe maybe one, maybe two, I'm not sure yet, but I wanna get smaller ones to put on my bar stools in my kitchen as well. But I, I love this so much, more than I should, but it's like, it's so scary wishy and I know I'm probably gonna get it so grubby but I'm gonna try not to <laughs> other little cushion you have been demoted for the time being I might even put that in my office as well because I've got a little chair that I'm gonna put in there that I think I showed you guys on my last home haul uh the one from Ikea that I'm gonna put the boot clay stuff over the top I might put that on there as well so many options but yeah those are all the bits that Mauve Garçon very very kindly sent me Shout out to you guys. Um, I'm obsessed. Okay, what else do we have? Oh, I have this leg. I have more of them, but I saw them on the table and I was like, I'll show you this leg because I'm gonna be like DIYing my own desk. I'm just gonna hold this leg for a minute. I got these from the hairpin company or something. Again, I'll link everything down below like I always do, but uh, I feel <laughs> I feel like I'm fully just like holding this, like really, this is really, really important to me. Um, I got a desk from B&M because I've been on the hunt for a certain type and style of desk for ages. Like I'll put the picture that I made on screen now. Basically I designed my like office on Photoshop with like loads of random pictures from Google and it's a little bit skew if it's not 100%, but I designed it and the desk that I want it's like sold out everywhere and it's so hard to get and it was like 600 quid and I was like, no, <laughs> like just principle, no. Um, and so I figured I could DIY it myself. So I found a desk in B&M that was like 40 quid. I think it was like 50 pounds down to 40 and I'll put a picture of it on screen now because it is in my car and it's quite heavy. But I figured I could take the top from that because that was the kind of tabletop that I wanted and switch up the legs and to be honest, I do like the legs that it comes with anyway, so, so we'll see, but switch up the legs with the hairpin legs, which is why I got these, and then I'm gonna paint it black, um, like the bits that aren't already black, paint some bits black, and then I also got this stuff here, if you guys have ever seen this before, it's DC Fix, and I've used it on a few furniture bits like years ago, and it actually worked really, really well, but it's like a black marble kind of situation, and I might not use this, but I, in, in my head, I will. I've just got to kind of like see how we go as things turn out. But my plan is, is to put this on the top of the desk, paint the actual desk that I have, the one that I bought, use the hairpin legs instead, and then use the legs that come with the desk for my dressing table upstairs. So I'm like doing like a full on mix and match. But yeah, I think I'm gonna start that maybe tomorrow or maybe this weekend, depending on how everything goes with like the wall paneling and stuff. Cause I didn't, I didn't even mention what I was doing, but I'm wall paneling my office, changing them around. I've got a lampshade that, that's actually downstairs. I'll put a picture of that on screen now. I got it from Dunelm. Uh, a lampshade and yeah, new desk, chairs. I'm downsizing my makeup collection. So I'm styling that up as well. And I'm so excited. I'm so, so excited. Uh, so yeah, doing that and hopefully the desk will work out how it's supposed to. Um, because yeah, all the other desks that I found, they were either like 600 quid or they were almost there, but they were still like 300 quid and I would have to like change some bits anyway. So I was like, let me just try it with this 40 pound B&M desk. And like worst case scenario, I'll use it for something, you know, I'll, I'll do something with it. Um, yeah, fingers crossed that works out. Keep me in your prayers. So yeah, got some lovely legs. What else did I get? Let's get rid of one of the other boring bits. I say boring, again, I'm so excited about this. One of my mirrors that I got ages ago, it was more of like a, 
an abstract sort of shape. Again, I think I showed you it on my last home haul video, but it was like a brown color and I was gonna paint it black, but then I saw this and I figured I would try it out with this and if all else fails, I would just sand it down and then paint it black. Uh, but this is the Rust-Oleum Stone Textured Effect paint. So it basically gives that sort of texture and finish on the lid. And yeah, I thought that could look kind of nice. Again, maybe I'll do that in my office. Maybe I'll spray it, get the texture, Maybe if I don't like the color, I'll spray it black and have like a bobbly black texture. Who knows? Like who knows what I'll do? I'm just on like a DIY frenzy at the moment. I haven't started yet. I haven't, I haven't fully started yet, but I've gotten myself prepared. I've got all the things. I just need to actually start, but I'm also kind of a little bit nervous because even though I am a pro, like I'm so good at putting together Ikea furniture. Like I love it. It's like a weird like 3D jigsaw puzzle for me. Honestly, if you have any Ikea furniture, I will come and do it. I will travel to you and I will do it for free. Just make me a couple of cups of tea or like a glass of Prosecco or something. Wine, I'll take anything to be honest. Like Lambrini, Asti, like give me anything. But um, applications down below. But yeah, I, I'm good at that, but it, I'm, I need to actually do some proper DIY now. Uh, so yeah, I'm like, I haven't started yet. I've got everything ready. I just need to do it. So encourage me to do it please if, if i haven't already started my desk by the time this video goes live because again like i said i am pre-filming this just a little bit just while everything is just like all over the place in my current office uh shout at me please and give me the motivation to do my desk thank you so much but i'm so excited i'm so excited unless it all goes wrong and then i'm gonna be so annoyed what else did i get oh yes 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 yes, yes. let me just drag i'm just gonna drag all of this out oh i forgot i got that okay there <laughs> There are a lot of things wrong with me. Um, the thing that I forgot that I got was another dish. This is the Homestead Stone Tray from B&M. It cost me a fiver. And again, thought I could have this on my desk to hold my pens and stuff. Just like, because I, I'm kind of organized, but I want everything to look nice and be organized. I, I've organized like loads of my life, but it doesn't please me how it looks. So I want everything to look good as well. That's, that's, my, um, that's my reasoning for buying 8,000 trays and baskets. But yeah, I really like this. And again, I figured if I don't use it there, I have many other rooms uh, that I can use this in. Like even again, like on my kitchen or in my bathroom or something, Ollie just got a bunch of little cactuses. So, or cacti, cacti, I hate the word cacti. I wanna say cactuses. I don't like saying cat. I, I, he, he got a bunch of cactuses and so he could put them on there if he wanted. Yeah, I thought for a fiver, that was really good. And the Homestead collection from b and I think it's one of their newest ranges. They have so much good stuff. Seriously, I went in there. I posted about it on my home uh, Instagram account. I was like, go to b and please. And just look at all the stuff that they've got. If you're into all this kind of stuff that I'm showing you, they have loads of stuff like that and obviously really, really cheap. Uh, another thing that I got from b and this is from their Harmony range, but it's the rainbow tufted bath mat and i thought it was cute you can't really see what it's like too much but if i but if i get you a closer shot of the actual photo you can kind of see what it looks like but yeah i'm just going to put that in the um our ensuite just when the other one is in the wash and stuff so i'll kind of flip between those two i then saw this and i don't need it i really don't because i don't even really burn candlesticks or anything it, it looks like a bedpan or i don't even like I don't even really know what, ugh, don't even know what this, what was that? I don't really know what this looks like, um, but I really liked it. And again, this is part of the Scandi Shore collection. That's also a good collection they have at B&M. Uh, go to B&M basically. They got loads of good home stuff. Uh, but this was a fiver and I liked it. It's probably gonna be one of those like decorative things that again, I'm never gonna burn or do anything with or whatever. Maybe if I have a super like sophisticated dinner party, which at the age of 29, that's yet to happen, but you never know. I might hit 30 and suddenly be like, ah yes, dinner party. Um, but maybe I could use it for something like that. Either way, I just loved it. I, I, I don't know, I think I like the material. Yeah, I have a problem. You know how I was like obsessed with Fugglers and then I've also been obsessed with, uh, there's a lot of things I've been obsessed with. Um, this this has been a lifelong obsession, but it's, it's going into overdrive at the moment. And then I also have, because apparently I don't have enough white, beige, whatever, ceramic style decorative things that actually have no purpose. I finally got one of these. The last person on the internet to get one of these naked people. Um, but, I, and I don't know, I don't know, I've, I've got no problem with, with, you know, this portion of it. But I was kind of thinking, 
I just want the butt. So I think I'm gonna put this on my uh, makeup collection. I've got like a couple of shelves on there. And I figured a couple of little bits of that pampas grass, cause a few bits always fall off of them. Stick that in there. Lovely. She's got a good butt, good ass. And this was seven pounds. And yeah, I thought that was a really good price cause I know so many brands and everything do things like this or it's just like the bum. Um, and they're normally pretty pricey. So I finally hopped on that trend. You got a stunning figure, love. The perkiest tits ever. I'm just gonna put that naked lady down on the bed next to me. You could take that sentence out of context so easily and I'm gonna let you. Okay, what else? Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I got this too, I got this too. <sighs> I just went and dragged this out of my car. I was in, I had to go to Wix the other day to get my panels. Um, I won't, I don't need to like insert a picture or whatever. They're just these like little panel things. Maybe I'll link them down below. But I went into Wix and near the Wix there's a Matalan. I know Matalan have some good home stuff. So I allowed myself to go in there and I was like, you don't need anything. Steph, you don't need any more of these trays. So I didn't buy a tray, but I did come out with another abstract looking art piece. I bought some from, Dunelm, which are in my dining room at the moment, and I love them, but they're not as good quality as this one. And they weren't really much different in price, to be honest. The Dunelm ones, cool design, but they're kind of like a polystyrene sort of effect, so they dent really easily, whereas this one is more, I don't know what sort of material it is, but it's hard, can't dent it as easy. And this was 30 quid. And I wanna put this either in my, I think it's probably gonna go in my filming room, um, or it could go in my office, but I think my office probably has enough stuff in it. So yeah, I think I'm gonna put this in the background in my filming room, just so it's a little bit of texture, nothing like too in your face that I'm gonna get bored of. Um, and yeah, it's just one of those things that I can just switch around the house because it's not, it's not really anything, is it? It's just a little wiggly shape. What is it? Yeah, it's not really anything. So I'm kind of, put it anywhere to be honest and switch things up. But yeah, I think I'm gonna start off by putting this in my filming room. So you might see this behind me in videos with my candle, with my naked lady maybe. That's a thumbnail in itself. Um, but yeah, was really, really excited about that. Oh, I'm just gonna put it over there, it's quite heavy. Look at my sad cushion over here, the one that's just been pushed out. So next up are all bits from Primark, I think. So I got these in two different trips. I got this one from the, if you're from Cornwall, I got this one from the Truro Primark and then the other, Lot of stuff from the Plymouth Primark. So, honestly, I have a problem. Oh, I have a problem, don't I? Uh, okay, first of all, I got another one of these. <laughs> this I got before I knew that Mauvais Garçon sent that box with the other bubble candle in it. But these, I'd seen them online and we only just got them. These are, they're £1.50 and I was like, yeah, you know what, I'll have one of them for £1.50, cute. So it's got this really, really long wick that I need to trim, but yeah, I thought that was nice. Honestly, like, can you all tell me to stop? Ollie was actually there with me and he was like, why do you need more of these things? And I was like, I don't know, I want them though. Got another bowl dish decorative thing, but this is £3.50 and it's black. But all the other things that I have are white. Ta da Don't know what I'm gonna put in this, absolutely no clue. I'll figure something out. Could work as a could work as a cute little like plant pot maybe it's not big enough for, like a fruit bowl maybe like a grape bowl no um, I said to Ollie like I don't know if they'd be safe for it necessarily I, I doubt they would be but imagine that as like a cat food bowl that would be bougie as hell and then the boys would like dribble cat food down the side but yeah you know I'll figure out something to do with this even if it just sits on the sides like over there that could look nice um, got that. I also got another thing that I don't need that's actually totally pointless to be honest. It's basically a flattened version of the black one. Uh, this was six pounds, a little bit more pricey, but still very, very affordable. And maybe you can see there, it's got like, it's got little arms, like a little trophy. Yeah, um, yeah, what was that? Uh, but yeah, again, liked this. This one's white, like all the other things that I've been buying. I've got, I, I'm aware I've got a problem. I don't know what's wrong with me, but they made me happy, so whatever. All right, last bag. <gasps> oh no, I forgot about this. This was sitting in the bottom of my Primark bag. I got this for me and Ollie to have because um, we stayed overnight in Plymouth one night and yeah, the next morning I was like, we should share this. I'm guessing we could still have it. I actually don't want it because these things, they're horrendous, but maybe I'll put it in the fridge and we'll have it tomorrow, but it's one of those Starbucks ginger shots. They wake me up like nothing else. It's just like the, the burning. I actually hate ginger unless it's in like a cake and biscuits but yeah 
Got that as well. That's the thing that I'm least excited about. Okay, couple more things from Primark. Saw this. Oh, is this scented? No, it's unscented, but something else scented that I'll show you in a sec. Saw this in Plymouth Primark and wanted more. And I thought the white one wasn't enough, so I got the green one as well. I mean, they're only £1.50 and they're cute. I can just put them with like loads of random things, honestly. <laughs> is there like an AA meeting or like a rehab or something that I can go to for someone that just buys like... I need to be on like an episode of Hoarders, but not like... Not to the extent where I can't get in my house, but just the extent where I have like a whole shelf of decorative things that I haven't done anything with yet. There needs to be like an intervention or something. I don't want there to be an intervention, but yeah. <laughs> Fully aware I got a problem. Next I have a couple of smelly things. And actually the woman in Primark when I was there, I was sniffing some candles. And normally it's me that does this kind of thing. This woman was like, have you tried these? Cause I was just there like sniffing, picking up another one, sniffing and she was like, you need to try these. And I was like, what the hell is it? And they're basically dupes for the diptyque ornaments. Uh, and I wouldn't have seen them if she didn't point them out, but these are the white lavender scented ornaments. They did a couple of different scents and they're £2.50. They smell so good, but look how nice they are. They're just these like full on, if I show you there, like diptyque dupes here. And I figured I could maybe even put one in my car because it would look quite nice and sophisticated. And then people are like, is that diptyque? I'm like, <laughs> No, cost me £2.50 from Primark, but yeah, I think I might put one of these maybe in my wardrobe or just somewhere on my office and then maybe one of these in my car, but these are really nice. They smell so, so good. And yeah, they were £2.50 and they had a couple different scents. Maybe I could put one of them in my dish. Okay, and then the best thing that I found in Primark that day, I almost didn't get it, but it was the last one, so I figured I had to. And then when I got it, I went online and I realized that everyone has been talking about these. They've been going like viral on TikTok and everything. This candle here is again, a total dupe for Dipti candles. And it's a jasmine scent and I love jasmine scent. Even if I didn't like the smell, to be honest, I'd probably get this because it just looks nice and it's huge. But yeah, this is a jasmine candle. It is no it's not it's 1000 grams so it is massive and apparently it has a burn time of up to 100 hours i'm probably not going to burn this for a little while i'm going to let the smell just kind of permeate throughout the house and then i'll probably start burning this once it's kind of died down a little bit but this cost me 10 pounds and yeah it was the last one and i can see why and like i said when i went online after i was like oh my god like i've not heard anything about these there's so many people talking about these on TikTok and stuff. So if you find one, grab one. They smell really, really good. Like the smell is really, really strong. But I thought for £10, like number one, it's a diptyque dupe. So it just looks sophisticated and classy and everything that I am. Um, but number two, it's just a massive candle for a tenner and it smells good and it looks nice as well. Again, it's white, it's ceramic, like leave me alone, okay? But yeah, obsessed with that. And I went into my local Primark again the other day on the hunt for another one of these. Couldn't find them anywhere. Like they seem to be out of stock everywhere. So I think I just got really, really lucky with finding one of these. It was literally like at the back of the shelf, just chilling there. Uh, but yeah, very happy with my candle. Do I need more candles? No. Do I need more white ceramic things? No, but I'm so happy. And that's all that matters, right? Honestly, it smells really, really good. I'm, I'm gonna keep checking for these. Like the side is a little bit scuffed up, but that's fine. Like it's probably been, I don't know, handled a little bit. I don't know, maybe someone even like returned it or something. I don't know, but that's fine. Even if I just like painted over it a little bit, gave it like a little wash. Very happy with this. If you guys see them, get one. They smell great and they look, they look good as well. Like I could just stick a big candle in here as well when I'm done with this. Use it as like a plant pot, use it as loads of different things. So yes, once again, very happy with that thing that I also don't need. <laughs> I think that's everything. I've got like a bunch of DIY bits as well, but you guys don't really need to see that. It's literally just like mitre boxes, saws, no more nails, loads of fun things like that. Um, but yeah, that's all the fun stuff that I got recently for my house. And hopefully I can put them all in my new office soon. And then once I've done my offices, I'm gonna tackle the middle bathroom, the downstairs bathroom, um, and then do something with the lounge. The lounge is probably gonna be one of the last rooms that I do, but yeah. I'm so excited. Okay, I'm gonna leave it here. Let me know what your favorite thing was. Let me know which your favorite white ceramic useless tray was that I got. Thanks so much. Um, 
And yeah, let me know if you guys want to see sort of like decorating kind of bits and bobs. Obviously, I'm going to be doing a vlog on my whole week and everything. And I will be showing you bits and pieces as I go along. But if you guys want like a full, I don't know, like before and after DIY, whatever, then I'll probably put that on my home account. So I'll leave the links to that down below again. Um, but yeah, I'm sure I'll update you guys a little bit more on my stories and everything. Um, I'm just so excited. I've also got a couple of fun things happening like a little, a couple of changes to the channel coming as well. So hopefully it should all happen at the same time. Um, because yeah, it's obviously been we a couple of years and I'm ready to just level things up a little bit, I guess. Anyway guys, yeah, I'm gonna leave it here. Let me know what your favorite white ceramic useless thing was that I bought today because there was a lot. Uh, and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you do want to see more of me because I upload all the damn time. And like I said, there are going to be some changes to this channel soon. I don't mean like the, nothing like major, like I'm, I'm still here, like nothing, nothing major's changing. But um, yeah, having like a nice little refresh. So hopefully you guys like that. If you haven't already, please turn on notifications, like this video, uh, comment down below, all the above. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave it here for now. I now have to clear up this mess that I made on my bed that you can't see on camera, but trust me, this is everywhere. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Love you, bye.